Live from YMSL Studios, welcome to the Dashless Report Week 7 Review. With uh, I'm your host, Bobby Moravia, with uh, Douglas Dweck, uh, gracious enough to uh, show us his face after being eliminated uh, from the playoffs. And NRJ, Captain, uh, not Captain, not catcher, catcher, catcher of catcher. the uh, uh, more Bob, pieces. It's, uh, it's definitely good to be back here, and I'm happy to see Douglas uh, showed up in a league that uh, basically only had seven uh, teams. Six made the playoffs, and Douglas was the odd man out. But I'm sure we'll uh, get to that coming up. But I'm happy to see Douglas was at least man enough to show up here. He was, he was. And uh, we'd look to find out more information about tea time on Sunday. <laughs> it's, um, it's tough. I guess the, the good news, a lot of stories this year. It's the final week of the regular season. Uh, the good news is... Uh, for Bachelor fans, no longer do we have to discuss them after this week. And uh, uh, mercifully, their season has come to an end. And congratulations to NRJ for picking them to on the over-under to be under. Yes, at, yes. Uh, three and a half, and they were way under. They so. were way under. That was probably the uh, easiest wager of the preseason uh, bets. Um, a couple of tough ones this year. No one would have guessed that uh, Douglas's team would have missed the playoffs. That 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 was uh, you got good money if you cashed in on that. But the bachelor bet was a gimme. I think everyone knew that in this league with our players, with our team, it's an insult to begin with that a group of no names and a group of nobodies could just show up and say, "Yeah, we're going to show up and compete yeah. with real with with the real drafted team in the YMSL." Yeah. I think the Bachelors, like on the TV program, the Bachelors. I think we should have one final uh, rose ceremony, <laughs> and, uh, and and we can invite them. Back. <laughs> Don't well, get out of like American Idol. You get send the same them all them. home uh, next year. If you guys want to join the league, enter the draft. And uh, I'm sure the 10th through 13th rounds will be uh, little bit your names over there. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get a statement from Elliot Simhorn uh, regarding, uh, you know, his over, uh, overall view of this first season. Uh, he was thrown out of the game, by the way, against us. I don't know if he was thrown yeah, he out. Was he thrown decided out. to hit the road, but uh, whatever yeah. the case was, uh, it was a rude awakening for the Bachelors uh, in their expansion season. And uh, speaking of major accomplishments... Uh, our good friend NRJ, for the first time in his illustrious career, batted over 300. Yes, I, I uh, finished up uh, strongly. Actually, uh, had a couple of uh, hits that dropped in, and uh, just happy to help the team contribute, Bob. And, seven out uh, of your last one, 11? Seven of my last 11. Wow. Yeah, seven up to uh, 333, respectable. And hopefully, when they count in the playoffs, uh, you know, some teams do go on and play yeah. in the playoffs. Hopefully, when they count, uh, we will. Uh, I'll able to. I'll be able to pitch in as well. Well, let's hope uh, your captain Maurice Haber remembers those at bats when he writes out the lineup. Did there. you hit by the season? I don't know what the average was, but Maurice is hitting the ball really hard. Also now, yeah, he's, he's really getting a lot of hits. I, I don't know what his numbers are or anything like that. I think that. he hit about hundred points higher than him. But uh, but he's starting to hit the ball really well yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Definitely, uh, that's another uh, major accomplishment. And uh, on uh, another congratulations, before we get to our uh, recaps, uh, our own uh, Albert Towell uh, of uh, the YMSL staff, along with Ben Kane, graduated from uh, Hillel with honors, uh, both of them going on to uh, uh, the major uh, coll collegiate career. So we only hired the top-notch staff in the YMSL, uh, if you may notice. Well, we did have over 1.3 million applicants wow. to uh, be in charge yes. of the YMSL website. Yes. And, uh, right. you know, and, I, and I heard those colleges saw the commercials that they put together. Yes. They got a scholarship <laughs> yes. because yes. of those commercials. Uh, you know, a couple of film schools are after them. So, you know, we, we really have, uh, you know, obviously you can see the way the, the league and the website is run. It's, uh, it's top-notch. Um, anyway, before we get to... Uh, you know, we're going to talk about next week's matchups and uh, we'll, we'll do uh, yesterday's uh, or Sunday's uh, action. And uh, we'll start off with um, your game. Um, you came into the matchup uh, needing a sweep. And uh, really, it was a foregone conclusion you were probably going to get one. Yeah. But I, didn't, I don't think anybody thought it was going to be this easy, actually. There were two mercies. We outscored them like 40 to 2 or 40 to 3, something like that. Uh, we only played a total of uh, 
nine innings, yes, nine, five ten innings, ten five innings. and four. That's it. Ten innings. We yeah. only got up four times in the second game, I believe. So, um, you know, it was over pretty quickly. And then we went on to the other field to try to root. Um, we were hoping that maybe uh, Red would get swept. That's what we thought would be the most likely thing to happen. And uh, they were about to, but then there was a grand slam in the bottom of that inning. They were It was a walk-off grand slam, actually. Yeah. So what was it, Lior? Lior Friedman. Lior Friedman hit a, 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 yeah, a walk-off grand slam. There were actually no outs in the inning. So yeah. they were down 6-3. They won 7-6. And then uh, Red lost the second game. So... You know, if they lost the first, maybe it would have been a sweep for uh, Dirty Dozen, and we may have played that third game. But as it turned out, it wasn't even close the second game. And, um, you know, it was like a 10-run win. So, you know, some of my teammates were there. All my teammates were there to start, and then they just started leaving one by one. So it's, it's very sad to see the season end. It's very tough when you have to hope for another team to get swept. And, uh, you know, what can I say? I, I Norman, guess you, Norman's got some stats here. Yeah, I mean, move, so. I, I, it's just hard for me to believe with the roster that you have that you guys did not make the playoffs. And I'm looking at some uh, stats over here from our from the Elias Sports Bureau that I have in my hand. You know, you guys had uh, you percentage points away from the highest batting average in the league. Yep. You had by far the most home runs in the league, right. by far the most runs scored in the league. We, uh, had, we had 20, at least 20 more runs than any other team. On so. base percentage, you lead the league in almost every category. So was it the pitching? Was it A.B. Saka? Or was it the defense? Or was it you just poured it on? Like against well, the matches, you scored 40 runs? You know, what it's, happened it's, here? It's, that's a great question. And, uh, you know, you speak about runs scored, but, you know, how many runs did we give up? So, uh... It happens to be we gave up the second most runs in the league mm -hmm. after the Bachelors as well. But, you know, the run differential was like a plus 35, which was the highest in the league. That was the best run differential in the league. We had a lot of blowout wins, you know, against the Bachelors. We won each game by 20 runs. We beat IKD by 15 runs. Uh, we knocked Azer out of the game that he pinched against us. So we won a lot of blowout games, but we, we lost every one run game. We lost to you 2 to 1. We lost to... Um, you know, insane by a run in the last inning when Chucky got a hit to bring in two runs. So we lost all those close games. Uh, your run differential is actually minus. You yeah. scored about 60 less runs than us, and you ended up in third place. So, you know, it's, it's all about being clutch, I would think. You know, if you speak about pitching and defense, I really can't say that there was an error that cost us a game. I didn't look at A.B. Sack and say, you know, he's lobbing him over, he lost the play, and he's walking a bunch of guys. So it's, it's just tough. And, and to give up a, you know, a, a, a year like, uh, you know, uh, uh, Abraham Haber had yeah. and Henry Shallon had, you I know, that led the league in... You I, know, I, I will say this, uh, Douglas, after the draft day, um, I looked at the rosters and I said the Bachelors and the situation had the worst team in the league, uh, by far. And then uh, the end of March, you made that famous trade that changed the dynamic to the team. Your team with Morris Kasson and uh, uh, Max Sutton would have been a completely different team, you, no doubt. I think, you, without a doubt, the two worst teams did not make the playoffs, and uh, you know. So and Bob, had, just to just to put some it, uh, numbers on what you're saying yeah, here, exactly. Bob, I got some stats here. Morris Kasson had oh, an unbelievable year. He batted 476 this season. 476. Yeah. You got and brilliant and defense in second Brilliant base. defense. Max Sutton, a shortstop, struggled early on, which we pointed out here. Ended up having a good defensive year as the, as the year panned out. Batted 340, 9 ribbies, 10 runs. You got back Eli Bash Cohen. Right. He went 2 for around. 23 this year. He batted 0, 87. And then you got Elliot Harari, who had a decent year. So, who made that trade? But, you know, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. But, you know, I spoke with Henry about this trade last time. We recapped the trade. Yeah. It's hard to say that we lost because of it because we still had the most runs in the league. So when we made the trade, we were making it for defense. You know, we knew we were going to give away some and, offensive well, trades. Well, you gave up two major defensive guys. You had Max and, uh, and uh, uh, Elliot, uh, Morris Gass that... Right. You know, they're, off they're the middle would have been a, a whole different uh, situation. We Very quickly, looking, before we're we... looking for outfield yeah. help. So be, before we say goodbye to uh, your team for the year, uh, how, how did these guys play on defense that you got? Did they did they play better than Max and Morris Kasson? I don't know how they played on defense. Bash was, was good at third. 
Um, Elliot Harari was better last year, I felt, in the outfield, okay. but he was still definitely an improvement over what we All did. right. Anyway, gotcha. sayonara to uh, Jersey Shore. Back.